How to use a 4x4 keypad? Keypad is commonly used in devices like ATM machine, microwave oven, safety vault, security door lock, and many more. In this tutorial, we will focus on the most common keypad used by electronics enthusiasts and tinkerers which look like this. We will discuss how it works and lastly, we will provide an example Arduino sketch so you may be able to tinker with it and use it to your projects. So how does it work? The buttons or keys are arranged in matrix of columns and rows. A 4x4 keypad like this has 4 columns, 4 columns, and 4 rows. While a 3x4 keypad looks like this, which has three columns and four rows. To give you an idea, I prepare here a drawing of the matrix connection beneath the keypad. Every switch is interconnected in a matrix arrangement. Every switch in a row is connected to a single conductive signal path. So this one. Same goes to row 2, row 3, and row 4. And every columns is also interconnected in a single path. Like this. So that when you press the key number 5 here, you can detect because during the key scanning, one by one, the row one, the row two, row three, row four is activated. Let's say, uh, if the microcontroller activates row two, so this one will be activated. Then, the column will be scanned one by one. When you press, let's say, number five, so number five, is in e bold this will be connected here and the state of the column 2 will be different so by matrix comparison you can find out that the button number 5 or key number 5 is being pressed the only limitation of this arrangement is when you press two buttons or two keys at the same time in here, I prepare a demo circuit for our demonstration. The links for the circuit diagram will be provided in the video description. Here, I also prepare an Arduino sketch. I do not use any library. I only, I, we only need the library for the liquid crystal or LCD for the display. Here, I define the row and the columns because as you can see, we are using a 4x4 keypad and we define each key. So, 1, 2, 3, A, 4, 5, 6, B, 7, 8, 9, C, asterisk, 0, Hash and D. Then we define the pins which will be connected in these pins. Digital pin 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And as you noticed, we use the digital pin 1 and 0 which is uh, a serial pins but we are not using serial so it's safe to use and we define a global variable to hold the key pressed next here in setup we first initialize the LCD as 16 by 2 
or 16 characters by two lines. Next, we initialize the pin direction of all the row lines as output. Next, we initialize the row lines, all the row lines as high. So initially, all the values of the rows are high. Next, we set the column lines as input. So we do that by setting the pin direction using pin mode. The column line, we use the input pull-up by taking advantage of the internal pull-up resistors so that uh, we don't need to use additional hardware. In the loop, we just get the key press by calling this function get key. Then we display it in the LCD. And you can do other stuff. So in the get key function, we declare a variable, a car variable, character variable key temp, and we get the value of the global variable key press. This is so that uh, when no keys are pressed, we can still return something, which is the previous key being pressed. Then we scan the row, the keypad, by row by row, one by one. So first, we initialize the row, the first row, let's say the row line zero, as low. Then we will read each column if something or if a key is being pressed like here so we initialize this as all in the setup we initialize all the row lines as high and the column lines are internally pull up so when nothing is being pressed when we read the column lines these are all logic high because of the internal pull-up. So, let's say, when we initialize the row 1 or row 0, R0, so this one becomes low, while the other are all high, logic high. Let's say you press number 2. When you press number 2, the signal will travel from R1 going to here, which is key number 2. It will go to the column 2. So by comparing the keys here, we will arrive because we know that we have the R0 and C2 and here we have the R0 and C2 column 2 so we can say that the key 2 is being pressed same goes to other keys let's say we press number 8 so during the scanning the R3 will be low, logic low, while all the other are high. So you read high, 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 but when you press number 8 or number 9, let's say number 9, when you press number 9, it will the signal will travel from row 3 going to column 3. Then by comparing to the matrix, we can conclude that the number 9 is being pressed. So, here, check if the specific column is pressed one by one. If there is a column 
with logic low, we compare that to the matrix definition above, here, here, then we save, we store it to the key temp. Then we disable the specific row line by writing again a high value or a logic high. Because as you can see, we write a logic low here. Then logic high here. Then the key temp is being returned, which is being displayed here in the LCD. So let's upload this one. So first, make sure that the board is selected and the correct serial COM port is correct. After that, you can hit the upload. So, we already uploaded the sketch. So, let's say we press number 9. So, 9 is being displayed in the LCD. Press number 3. Number 2. Number 1. 0. Sharp or hast. Asterisk. D. C. B. A. We can also test using library, which is a keypad library. Here, we use the keypad library. So first, include the keypad library. Then, in the loop, you just get the key press by keypad.getKey. If the keypad is being pressed or the returned value is not zero it will display to the LCD so let's upload this one and let's see done uploading so let's test it let's say we press 3 6 9 sharp 2 5 so it works the same so as for the application I prepare here a simple demonstration for entering a password my password is 1234 so when you enter 1234 then press the sharp granted welcome or reset Let's say we enter an incorrect password, 1, 2, 3, 5, which is incorrect. So, sharp, access denied. Or, we can also hide the characters by replacing the key press with asterisk. Let's say we input the characters, 1, 2, 3, 4, sharp. Granted. Welcome. Let's say we enter a wrong password. Sharp. Access denied. So that's it. The links for the circuit diagram and the Arduino sketch will be provided in the description. I hope you like and share this video. If you have any question, Please do not hesitate to write it in the comment box. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a good day. Bye!